and greetings to each and every one of you that's in the house this morning. So good to have you here, all our pastors, their wives, amen, all the ministers present just to share this special occasion with us, amen. I, re I deem it really special <laughs> if we could see where we're going to, where we come from and where we are now, amen, just the grace of God this morning. <clears throat> But just before we go over to the slideshow, I just want to say, as our precious brother rightfully said, yeah, we acknowledge in our brother the qualities. Uh, I told the minister the other day, he says, we don't make pastors. Amen. God called men. Amen. Amen. And I think uh, pastors are called and placed there. They are pastors after God's own heart. And uh, I met Brother Fortune over 17 years ago. And I was doing outreach work. We were doing outreach work in uh, Wormrandstadt, Christiana, and areas. And he was, after his accident, transferred from Durban to Clarksdale. And that's where I got his details. And I popped in there, the hospital. It was not long after his accident and in what state he was. Uh, and I felt this morning there was such an anointing in that room when I prayed and anointed him. Uh, I thought this man is going to stand up and walk. And uh, it's still not impossible, Brother Bram says, I preach, I pray for the sick tonight, and if they don't get healed, I pray for them again tomorrow. Amen. So we continue and we trust the Lord, amen. amen. So in this man, we saw that endurance, the qualities, and as Brother Ronnie just reflected, amen, on that endurance, amen, just pressing on. He came from Durban as a GP, and he told me there in his little room, it was quite dark in that room. And he said, uh, he's going to further his studies. And I said, in this condition, I was just thinking, you know, after what happened, a GP, that's enough. He says, no, I'm going to further my studies. And I think he wanted to become a surgeon. Uh, it will make it easy for his condition. You know, you just push you up there, the table can go up or down, and you don't have to run around and walk around, you just do your job, you know, everything will be easy. At, uh, then he pushes on and he, he, he became a, a dermatologist, the same man that we're speaking about. So when I met him in that room, I said, Brother Fortune, uh, we need to get somebody here, he was unmarried, and I think he need a help meet. But I didn't mean a, a help meet in that sense. I said, where's your mom? Give me the details. Can we call her on the scene, man? You, you can't, this you can't do on your own. And remember, he had his, the use of his legs and, and he could do all those things himself. And now immediately he found him just the opposite. And uh, I think uh, after the accident and after the operation, it wasn't successful. They put him in a, in a room with mirrors and they said, uh, Doc, you must get used to this. This is going to be your life now and until God removes us from the earth. And Doc saw himself in a wheelchair, can't lift his legs, and he refused to accept the situation. And uh, my long story short, his mom came on the scene and just helped him through. And I think it was a great blessing when she came. She made really a difference on his life. But we would pass Clark's door and I would just pick him up, wheelchair and everything, and we'd go do outreach work and all that. And his accident actually happened while busy with outreach work. This man is unstoppable. We sometimes feel so ashamed of ourselves, you know. We have uh, the use of our legs and uh, sound mind and all those things, but we do nothing for the Lord. Amen. We just like wheelbarrows. If we don't pick you up and push you, you don't move. But this man moved. And Afrikaans roll. He pushes himself. He drives himself wherever. And uh, so, uh, long story short, he was helping out and. Uh, then he was transferred up to Johannesburg, and that is where he came in contact with our local assembly. And he's with our church now 15 years, in, in Ranfantin, 12, 13 years, no? in, in Ranfantin. And, and we identify the gift that the man has. And he didn't watch so much to have a pulpit, 
but his pulpit was out there in the street. And uh, he was arranging outreach services. If he can't make it, amen, he'll ask one of the brothers, the ministers, just to go and, and stand in for him. I remember one day, he said, Pastor, I've got an open door here in Reiche Park. And I said, okay, uh, I want you to take the service. When we got here, it was on the third floor. He's in a wheelchair. I said, do you want to go up there? He said, I must be there. And we carried him up three floors. Amen. And we have a service up there. This man, yeah. As we said, we recognize and acknowledge the gift and the qualities that have brought us to this point. And above all, the deep love for the message of the hour. Amen. Amen. So we're going to reflect a little bit back from where it started uh, in 2019. It wasn't easy. Uh, rather than the group grew here in Boxburg, and we hired uh, a, a church from Pentecostal group, and that was over the COVID period. And uh, so the pastor told us that this church is not coming in because of COVID, but we are coming in. And, and the small little message group was growing. And his group was diminishing. And then I think there was a kind of a jealousy, if I can put it that way. And then from, he put our rent up triple from 2006 to 6,000 something. I think there was something happening and he couldn't understand. He said, let's put up the rent. We just couldn't manage the rent. And then at that time, the fortune then was looking for another place of fellowship and all that. And then one day I got a call. Pastor, we have found a building for sale. Uh, what do you think? I said, arrange a meeting, an appointment with the agent, and I'll be there. And uh, man, I rushed through. I think it was a day later. I was right here at the building, looking at the building seeing looking at the potential of this building though a very old building but uh yeah i saw no the name of the lord can be praised in this building amen, amen. hallelujah amen. 